Now, obviously, I, I, I didn't go for a job as a Easter Bunny, because um, that would be stupid. I actually went for a job as a singing telegram, but I can't sing, um, so that put paid to that. But my boss was sympathetic. He was like, look, Easter is a really big thing in America, um, so what we'll do is we'll give you a giant bunny costume, and you can go and hand out chocolate Easter eggs in a basket to the children in the mall. I was like, yeah, okay. He's like, no. Do you know anything about rabbits? That's a qualification for the job? Well, yes, yes, I do. I'm Scottish. And we Scots, we know all about rabbits. We have them in our houses. I had two rabbits called uh, uh, Lightning Conductor and Mutt Mutt. Uh, unfortunately, they drowned in the toilet. Um, but yes, rabbits. We're all about rabbits. And he's like, fantastic, fantastic, yeah, okay. So, he gave me this bunny costume. Pink, giant pink bunny costume, huge pink head, big ears. Um, about six foot tall, much taller than me. Um, and, you know, it doesn't matter what job I do, I try to do it to the best of my ability. So, um, I decided to be the best bunny that I could be. Uh, I developed a, a bunny walk. You saw a little clip of it earlier, you know, so that I was authentic. Um, and my job was to give these chocolate eggs out of a basket to the children and of course I didn't want to get fired so I was determined I was going to give as many chocolate eggs as I could away to the kids. Unfortunately the, the rabbit costume was somewhat sinister um, and the children were very afraid of me and when I began to talk that only made things worse because I'd come towards them. And they'd be like <laughs> and I'd be like take an egg Okay, like, no, no. <clears throat> He'd hide behind the mother's legs and cower, and I'd be like, This is my job. Take an egg. Take an egg. <laughs> Kids are like, ah! <laughs> Oh, make it go away. So my boss eventually called me into the office, and he's like, Look, you're freaking the kids out. In fact, you're freaking me out because it's lunchtime, and you still have your bunny costume on. I mean, yeah, the, the, the zip's stuck on the back of my head, can't get the bloody thing off. Um, he's like, look, look, I'm sorry. He's like, you know what? You're a good bunny. And he patted me on the head. You're a good bunny, but that accent, no, won't do, won't do at all. I was like, okay, how about take an egg? Um, he's like, no, 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 that's just worse. Uh, you know what? Don't talk. Don't talk at all. And I said, uh, I'm doing this job for four weeks, four weeks, and I can't say a word all that time. He's like, yeah, sorry. Um, you'll have to make do with hand gestures. I was like, oh, well, I've got a hand gesture for you, pal. But there was no use arguing. That was my lot. And so I had to walk around the mall without being able to talk for four weeks. And I learned something very quickly. If you cannot terrify children, they will lose all respect for you. And thus it was. So I'd walk around the mall looking dejected. My bunny ears were like, flat. And children began to torment me. They'd get behind my big bunny butt and they'd poke me. Poke, 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 poke. And of course I couldn't see it because they are eye holes. Um, so I'd be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but no, couldn't catch them. Then they called me names, like big, smelly, weird rabbit and things. I did get my own back a few times. I had very large bunny feet. Brilliant, brilliant for kid running along the mall. Stick out the big bunny foot. Ah, ooh, ow! They'd be like, Mom! The big bunny tripped me up and did you out there! The mom would be like, Stop lying! Look how innocent he is. He's a, bu he's a bunny. And I'm like, ah, chocolate eggs. It's very hot. Very hot in Texas. So the chocolate eggs melted and, you know, so I'd unwrapped them. And uh, got up as nicely as I could. And the child would be like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> all over its face. Mom! The big bunny! threw chocolate in my face and made me all covered in stuff. Liar! 
It's not lying. Look, it's a bunny. You couldn't do anything wrong. So there was small satisfaction to be had in that as well. But, you know, it was very strange. You, you, dressed as a rabbit, you kind of lose your identity. And people forget. You know, that, you know I'd be standing there and be, you know, there'd be somebody on the, their mobile phone next to me going, yes, yes. Um, how much would it cost for to kill my wife? Hmm, reasonable. Okay, go for it. And I'd be like, excuse me. I'm not actually a big pink rabbit here standing next to you. I'm a human being in a rabbit suit and I can hear everything you're saying. Right in my... And there were, like I say, there were, uh, there were small opportunities to um, have fun. I'd go into the video store. Or the electronic store, as they call it nowadays. Um, with my basket. And the Walkman. There on, oh, iPad. Ah. I'll just take that, take the iPad, put it in my basket, wave to the guy on the desk, and walk out. And he'd be like, and his boss would come in and say, where's the iPad? And, uh, well, a big rabbit came in and put it in his basket and he, 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 he tight. You're fired! <laughs> Yeah, you know, life wasn't all bad. But, once again, I realised that if I was to spend four weeks walking around the mall without being able to talk, I was going to go absolutely, completely insane. And so I used the same trick I had in the uh, Four for Factory. I decided that I would write a big, long, incredibly violent, complex story in my head. I put all these children in them. And I killed them. <laughs> That's what I did. I'd walk around giggling to myself. <laughs> Although nobody could see it because I had a bunny head on, so it didn't really matter anyway. <clears throat> but again, I thought, you know what? That was fun, but this is not going to get me rich. And it's not going to get me famous. I need to get out of here. I need to go somewhere. Where there are no malls. No heat. Somewhere far, far away. And so six months later, I found myself working on a ski resort in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. <laughs>